Welcome to the homework for lesson 26. This is module 4 of grade 2. Name first, please. And then we're solving vertically first and drawing chips on the place value chart and unbundling when we have to. Uh, a lot of times on these pages, uh, I know that, uh, especially if you're not really good in your uh, subtraction facts, uh, I'll see just this. I'll see that I'll see this done, and then when I see I'll see my menu end, my subtrahend, my difference down here, and about I won't see any crutch marks up here. So I know you didn't do vertical method. We really have to practice the vertical method to get better at it. Hopefully this video will help you. We're gonna do the vertical method first and then check it with the chips. So that way we're practicing more, we're practicing the subtraction. And here's the 114, and we're not just counting 65. And so a couple of the earlier videos, I went over some of the more common mistakes that people make. Just like with addition, you got to make sure your numbers are vertically lined up so your one's digits are underneath each other and the tens digits are in the same column in your hundreds. And this subtraction symbol, keep it down here. Uh, I'm going to do things a little bit differently. Here, I'm not going to draw the magnifying glass over the menu end anymore. Uh, it kind of makes everything kind of cluttered up. But we just got to keep in mind that we're subtracting the bottom number from the top number. We can't switch them. So we can't do 5 minus 4 here when we're looking at the ones place, the ones digits, we have to subtract 4 minus 5 and we have to unbundle a 10. And when we do that, we'll have zero tens left. But we'll have 14 ones after we do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a one here that makes this 4 look like a 14. Because it's 14. I could just cross it out and write a 14 above it. Or I could put a little, sneak a little 1 in there and make it look like a 14. Either way, it's 14 minus 5 now, which is 9. And I don't have any 10s, so I can't subtract 6. So I have to unbundle this 100. Now I have 10 10s. See how that works. 10 minus 6 is 4. 49. So now we'll draw it. Now don't just draw the 49 either, because you have to use both methods. So if I didn't, you know, now that I know it's 49 from doing it vertically, if I just do this... 49, that's, no, don't do that. We have to use, solve, we need two different solutions using different methods, not just an answer. So here's the 100, the 10, and the four ones. We only draw the menu in, and now we have to cross out. Five ones, don't have five ones, got to unbundle the 10, just as we did here right? This is we did over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now I have 14 ones, and now I can cross out 5. There's that 5 group row is gone. So now I, you can see I have 9 ones left. I don't have any 10s, and I still have to cross out 6 10s, so I have to unbundle this 100. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and now I can cross out 6. That's a 5 group and one more. And here I have 4 left, 49. So that's what it should look like. 120 minus 37. Do this vertically. You have 0 ones. You can't. I can't say 7 minus 0 and write a 7 here because... I'd be subtracting the wrong number. I have 0, and I'm subtracting 7 ones. I can't switch it around. So don't subtract. That's called subtracting up. You can't do that because then you're actually solving a different subtraction problem. So what I have to do is unbundle a 10. I'll have one 10 left. Now I have 10 ones. 10 minus 7 is 3. 1 minus 3. Can't do it. Have to break up this 100. Now I'll have 11 10s. 11 minus 3, 8, 83. Here's how it looks like with the chips. 100 and 20. I can't cross out 7 ones because I don't have any. 
So I have to unbundle this 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's the 10 that I have here. I cross out 7, and there's the 3. Right? That's the 3. I just want to see how just see how these things match up. And now the tens, I don't have I don't have uh, three tens to cross out, so I have to unbundle a hundred. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you can see now I have ten plus one more, right? I have eleven tens. There's my eleven tens. I'm gonna cross out three of them. And what do I have left? I have these seven and one more, eight tens, eighty-three. 141 minus 89. Now I know I'm going kind of fast for this. Uh, if uh, you're having trouble keeping up, really just pause it. <laughs> Watch it and pause it, try it, and then check your answer. You can pause it and watch it again, but maybe you only have to watch a few of them and you can figure out how to do it. Uh, just It's a video, so you can pause it, go back over the parts you need to see again. Uh, I'll never know. Uh, all right, so we have not enough ones. We have to unbundle a 10. I'll have three tens left. But I'll have 11 ones now. See how that works? 11 minus 9 is 2. And 3 minus 8, I can't do that, so I have to unbundle 100. When I do, I'll have 13 tens now. 13 minus 8, 5, that's 52. Drawing it with the chips, it's 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 4 tens, and 1, 1. I have to subtract 9 ones. I can't do it, so I have to unbundle a 10. That's what I did here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I have ten plus one more, right? That's eleven tens. That's the eleven tens I have there. And I cross out nine ones. And I have one, two ones left. Now I can't cross out eight tens because I don't have eight tens. I have to unbundle a hundred. That's what I did here. And when I unbundle the hundred, I get ten tens for it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's what I did here, because you can see I have these ten plus those three, thirteen tens. There's my thirteen tens. So I just want to show you how it works. But you're just doing the same thing uh, except with numbers when you do it vertically. And now I can cross out 8. And I have 3, 4, 5, 52. 136 minus 77. I don't have enough 1s to subtract seven ones, so I have to unbundle a 10. I'll have two tens left when I do that, and then, but I will have 16 ones. 16 minus seven is nine. Two minus seven I can't do, so I have to unbundle this 100. Now I'll have 12 tens. 12 minus seven is five, 59. 100. I'm going to draw the 136. Always draw the minuend and cross out. We don't draw the minuend and the subtrahend. That's what we do in addition when we have two add ends. I'm going to draw 100, 10, 20, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I need to cross out 7 ones and 7 tens. Don't have 7 ones. I have to unbundle a 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So you can see that's what I did. I unbundled this 10, and I only had that 2 left. That's what I have here. And But now I have 10 plus 6. I have 16 ones. And now I can cross out 7. 
<laughs> Oops, I crossed out eight. I can cross out seven. And I have nine left, right? One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine left. I only have two tens now. So I have to unbundle this hundred. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just like I did here, I have twelve tens now. And I can cross out seven tens. And it leaves me with these five. Fifty nine. Hundred fifty four minus ninety six. Can't subtract six from four. I don't have enough ones. So I have to unbundle a 10. Four tens left. But now I have 14 ones. 14 minus 6 is 8. Now I look at my tens digits. 4 minus 9. I can't do that So because I, I have to unbundle 100. Now I have 14 tens. 14 minus 9 is 5. I should have 58 when I'm done over here. 154. 1, 10, 20, 30. 40, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4. There's my 154. <laughs> I can't cross out six ones because I only have four, so I have to unbundle a 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I can cross out six of these and see right away I have two fours, two four groups. That's eight. Now I can't cross out nine tens because I only have four. So I'm going to cross out a hundred and unbundle it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then I can cross out nine of these. I'll have one left. And I just have four plus one. I have five. And you got to have all of this, all of this stuff with the crossing out, the unbundling, the arrows and dots. And you got to have all of these crutch marks up here for both of these. For all, all every one of these, you got to have the crutch marks. you got to have the chips with the unbundling. And now we have an extension here. Bonus. Fill in the missing number to complete the problem. Draw a place value chart and chips to solve. All right, so we have to figure out what this is right here. 3 minus something equals 9. Uh, so here's what we do. We know what our menu end is, right? It's 123, so let's draw it. It says to draw a place value chart and chips to solve, so that's what we're going to do. 100, 10, 20, 1, 2, 3. There's our 123. We're going to subtract 50 something. Well, I can see we're going to have to unbundle it. So what I'm going to do, whatever we're subtracting, it's going to have to be more than three. Because if this was a one, then that would, then we'd have, if this was a one, that would be a, this would have to be a two. So it can't be a one. And if it was a two, then our difference would have to, our one's difference here would have to be a one. It can't be a three because then it would be a zero. So it means we have to unbundle a 10 somehow to get this. So if we have to unbundle a 10, let's draw that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now what do we have to cross out to have nine left? We have one, two, we'll have one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We want to have those nine left. So we have to get rid of these guys here. So our ones digit we have to subtract will be four. And we have our answer, but we'll just finish the rest of it. And we know we have to cross out five tens, and we can't do that. We had to unbundle a hundred. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then we cross out our five tens, and we have 
six here, nine here, 69. So it works if we subtract four ones.